Charlie Parsons Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Always a pleasure, Mr. Liam Reardon on Zoom, sporting the badge. How are you, bro? Got, got him on, brother. Got him on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, bro. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, all good, mate. All good. Joey Cordina oh, this week looks to become two-time world champion. Just firstly, as a mate of his, as a man from Wales, Cardiff, uh, how excited are you? Uh, buzzing, bro. Absolutely can't wait. You know, especially last year. Um, you know, the roof got blown off the place last year when uh, when he won last year. So um, hopefully a repeat on Saturday. And um, you know, it's gonna be a tough fight. No one's saying it's gonna be an easy fight, but um. I think Joe is just levels above, you know. So I um, can't wait to get back on the wheels, get ready for Saturday. It's going to be a good one. He was stripped of his title last time. Um, He won the IBF against Agawa, and then there was sort of lots of stuff, lots of stuff that went back and forth there. Um, The position that we're in now, I know that he had to fight long and hard to get go straight into the world title shot. Do you think the timing's right? Obviously, now we're looking at almost a year ago. Um, time off with injury, etc. But ready to get in the ring, and I know you would have seen him up close. Just how good? Well, yeah, you know, it's this thing, you know, ring, ring rust, you know, and if you haven't been active, but most fighters these days, anyway, you know, at that level, fight you know, twice a year. So it's not as if he's been, uh, you know, two, two or three times a year. It's not as if he's been out for a few years. Um, I know he's come back from injury, but um. I don't think he wanted a warm up or tune up fight. He just wanted to go straight back for it because that belt should still be his, really. Yeah. I think you know, like you know, he had an injury and and they took the belt straight from him. Whereas you have fighters with uh, with their belts who haven't fought for like for a long time and they still get to keep their belts, you know. So um, look, I think he wants to go straight back into it, and um, I think you know, hopefully we get a round two knocker again. Well, the frustrations would definitely be ironed out by Saturday. Something that's important to know is. If he does, in fact, get the win, he becomes a two-time world champion in only the one weight class, um, unbeaten. Not often you see that, only whenever you get sort of people being stripped and stuff. So he's also got himself a little opportunity to create legacy within the division that he's in. Definitely, definitely. Like you said, you know, most people who are two-time have lost their belts, you know, to to defeat. But, you know, it's uh, been a little bit different for him. So, um, yeah, definitely legacy. You know, I remember him telling me that... Um, you know, through the amateurs and everything, he got one of the the, the best records. It's the best record in Wales, I think. You know, all through the amateurs and through his pros. So, um, you know, definitely a legacy is going to be something he's aiming for. I've been getting a load of DMs off the Welsh this week, right? And I can feel how happy they are just off big time boxing, being able to return to Cardiff. Some uh, amazing nights over the years. Now Joe Cordine is in the position that he's in and we are delivering the big nights, hopefully more frequently. Um, Won't be his fault, obviously, because of the amount of time between his last fights. But um, is this what sort of Wales needs as a whole? We've always had such great Welsh fighters, but maybe they're having to fight elsewhere or not being able to get them homecomings. I mean, you've only got to look at the co-main event, Gavin Gwynn, who's been doing brilliant yeah. stuff, British and Commonwealth champion. Um, Really trailblazing for the current sort of kids within the grassroots climate. Definitely, definitely. You know, we've... You know, Wales is known for you know great boxers over the years, um, but we haven't had someone who's who's been going for the world titles and you know for a, for a few years. And you know, Joe now is is setting that up for the the boys coming up. You know, the grassroots and coming through. And you know, they look at look at Joe and think that's what I want to do. That's what what I want to be. And it's bringing them big fights home to home to Wales. And like, ask anybody. You know, you go out to a, you know. Fight night in Wales, it's a cracking night out. Cardiff is unbelievable. You know, it's, the stadiums are in the town centre, you, the pubs, the bars, the atmosphere is brilliant. So, um, I remember Anthony Josh was saying one of his favourite places to fight yeah. is in <clears throat> the Prince, Principality in Cardiff. And, uh, you know, and it's a reason for that. Um, so, you know, the more fights we have, you know, big fight nights back home, the better, you know. Like you said, Gavin Gwynn as well. Hopefully he comes away, win with the way, away with the win Saturday. So, um, yeah, hopefully some big nights coming forward. The principality down the line, we know it's being used for the big heavyweight fights, but I suppose there's no reason why Joe Cordina can't get to a position where he's fighting there in the summer. Um, all it would require was, you know, it would obviously be a really, really difficult fight and it would have to be one of the elite, but we know that the Welsh come out to back their own and something that would be doable. I know that, you know, when you all get the whole country behind someone, it makes it that little bit more special. A hundred percent. You know, they really do get behind each other. You know. A little bit different, but yeah, with the Love Island thing, like 
you know, they really had the fan base behind me and, um, you know, without them, maybe I wouldn't have, you know, got where I've, where I've been. So they do really get behind you and it's the same with the boxing and, you know, the sport and, you know, you'll see that again Saturday night, how the Welsh do get behind you. And like I say, further down the line to fill out the places like Principality, you need their big fights against the elite. And I think Joe is is a part of that elite, you know, so um, many big nights to come. Let's talk a little bit about yourself. If we get past Saturday. <laughs> if we get past Saturday. When we get past Saturday, <laughs> I think we'll be the right. When we get past Saturday, of course. Um, Liam, yeah. you're, are you still training, ticking over? I know that your man who's sort of very, your life is very sort of fitness orientated anyway, but more specifically boxing. I know you were down the matchroom gym when I was there. Um, Still ticking over and doing bits with the guys? Yeah, still training. I trained this morning. Um, I said, I'm going back to Wales now this week, so I got a sparring on back in Wales. I'm just waiting for a date. I want to, you know, I want to fight. I want to get it done, get the first fight done, and um, you know, I'm just waiting to find out on the date really. So um, you know, it, it won't be May. I was hoping to be on May the thirteenth, but it's looking to be about June, July. Um, but yeah, just ticking over until then. I don't want to be going too flat out. I don't want to peak then and come back down. So um, to keep me steady, you know, staying fit, and uh, when I get a, a call and I get a date, then I can really go to town. I remember sort of when I sat speaking to you, I think Dempsey was there as well. And even Dempsey joked and was like, who would want to fight that bloke? And that's coming from a huge heavyweight southpaw mm-hmm. himself. Um, I certainly wouldn't be queuing up to fight you, but that might be because I'm quite small. Um, is it sort <laughs> of, you've had conversations and stuff. And is it is it looking like it's all going to come to plan and you're going to be able to get an opponent who's actually going to give you sort of a little bit of a run for your money, but he'll be in there with you and he'll be it'll be punching and, and it does look like sort of crossover boxing is a reality for you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So um like I said, you know, hoping just to get a date soon and yeah, you know, I think once I have one fight and I'm out there and I show people what I can do, then you know that that's me then, you know, at the moment it's just been it's just been talks and this and that and, and until I show people what I can do and who I am, then it's it's a different story then. And um yeah, you know, I want to win and fight someone who's at a good level. And I think the level of like your misfits and kingpin, etc., they are gonna improve as well. You know, some you know, some guys who can't fight, but there's also some guys who can fight, and ladies, of course. Um, you know, I think the level over time will improve and I wanna be a part of that, you know, the boys at the top. And um, yeah, once I have my first two, three fights, then I can read, you know, that's me showing people, yeah, you know, I wanna make a statement. We've got Kingpin this Saturday. Right. Obviously, you won't be able to watch, and I know that there's about four million show clashes this week on April the twenty second. But yeah. do you sort of still have one eye on what everything's going on in these other spaces, knowing that sort of at one point you're going to be involved? Because even if you're not fighting the guys, you know you're you're going to be invi- involved in that whole environment. Um, do you sort of keep one eye on it, or not really? Just sort of stay in your own lane and, and wait for your opportunity. Uh, yes, I know, you know, I'm looking, I'm waiting for my opportunity, but I do, like, I love boxing, you know, I love watching, so, you know, like, I like to keep an eye on, you know, you know, future potential opponents, um, so I keep an eye on them, see how they're doing, and, um, and just on whole, on the whole as well, just, you know, enjoying watching the shows, um, you know, I can't get enough of the boxing, so, uh, yeah, I'll be, you know, I'll be watching, watching Joe Saturday, but no doubt I'll be catching up with the Kingpin on Sunday, so, um, yeah, I seem to keep an eye on who's who's potentially out there for me. I'll fit a cheeky one in here. Um, is there any sort of front runner as to what promotional banner you'll fight under? We're seeing more and more politics in the world of influence of boxing, which is crazy. But I warn them all. I said it's going to get to a point where look, if you want the big fights to be made, and there's all these platforms, politics is going to come down to it at some point. Um, yeah. We spoke misfits in January, but obviously Kingpin on the map, Creator Clash, etc. Um, do you have an idea of what banner you'll be fighting under? Um, at the moment, uh, I didn't fight on either. Um, but you know, Misfits was the original which one which I was aiming towards. Um, still going to try and go for that. But if the opportunity came with Kingpin as well, then I wouldn't turn it down. What can we expect? Get me in there, pass You got to get, got to <laughs> get me in there. Get the gloves on. Get me. Get I was going to say what. what... That goes on to my next point. What can we expect when we see you? Because a lot of people are going to be like, right, who's this geezer? How's he ended up in a boxing ring? I feel like you can box. I definitely get that vibe and impression that you can box. What would we be seeing in the ring from yourself? Just seeing something. Well, people see me training in the gym, in the matchroom gym, but, you know, they haven't seen me. To be honest with you, I am done 
I've obviously done my sparring, but I am. It's been my first time going for it as well. So, you know, I want to see exactly what I can do, and I'm excited to see what's going to what's going to happen. And I feel like, you know, I I'm quick and powerful, um, I'm fit, and I feel like I'll be a lot of work to deal with. So, get me in there, and I can uh, I can show people. Well, Liam, an absolute pleasure. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the Open Workout for Joe Molina versus Jack Ram Rakimov. Um, yeah, see you throughout the week, bro, and I'm sure we'll catch up with another interview at some point. Just a final message, supporters, Thanks, fans, etc. Tune in. Uh, get yourself down there. I'm sure there's a few tickets uh, left, but um, get yourself down there and tune in and support Joe Cordina. Coming two time.